Can you talk about the the role that substations play in the in the whole grid infrastructure? Uh, because most people don't realize that you know sometimes the demand goes high, the demand goes down. You need to know some predictability when things may go wrong. Something that are similar. So, what is the role of substation in there? From my perspective, you know that's that's all that you know the 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 grid will you will need to be to manage the demand because the demands will be less linear than it used to be. You know, before it was easy. You've got the production and the electricity was going forward like a river to, to your home. But now, as we explained, you know, be, because of the, the, the microgrid, uh, because of new source of production of energy through uh, solar, through um, wind energy, uh, you need to manage a lot of new flexibility, the new demand. Apart what a grid needs to manage, which means the first one is protection. Uh, when you have an incident on the grid, you need to be able to, in, to, to, to cut uh, the grid quickly. So protection, automation, control are really the first command of what happened on the grid. But now we'll need to bring much more new add value uh, for managing the demand, managing the flexibility, managing also the stake of the cybersecurity of that, because as soon as you digitize, you know, critical assets, uh, you need to think about uh, cybersecurity, about new new menace uh, could be attack. We saw that, you know, recently, unfortunately, in some. Uh, um, in some conflict all over the world, that's, you know, production of energy, uh, our target. Um, so you need to protect your grid from the cyber menace too. So it means that you need to achieve a lot of new challenges all together on that project to be sure that uh, this key solution will be the asset and, and the foundation of uh, the next generation of the grid.